Hello, I am Father Jeremiah. I'm a Benedictine monk and a priest from St. Vincent Arch Abbey. I'm the pastor in St. Nicholas and at Bishop Carroll here, I am the chaplain and campus minister. And I was asked to uh, give a brief reflection on this Good Friday, so I will take the opportunity to do so. Um, I grew up Lutheran and I was very, very fortunate to have a number of men as pastors who were excellent, excellent homeless. Um, unfortunately, I probably didn't pay attention too often as uh, some young people are wont to do. However, I do recall <clears throat> there was a Good Friday reflection where the pastor was discussing, you know, the irony of why we call it Good Friday. And of course, I've come to find out that that wasn't much of, a, that wasn't a certainly original thought. A lot of commentators have, have made that point. But I think it struck me, and uh, I've considered then just the paradoxical nature of our faith. Um, St. Uh, Paul, in his first letter to the Corinthians, wrote that it was emphatic that we preach Christ crucified. And again, paradoxically, the, uh, the most distinguishable icon, if you will, of Christianity is the cross. Um, but of course, looking at the cross with eyes of faith, it's, a, it's revelatory, I think is one word to really describe the, the nature of the cross. Um, it certainly reveals to us um, the gravity and the consequences of sin. I think we conveniently tend to overlook that. Um, but just as importantly, even more so, on the cross, um, we really see the manifestation of divine love and mercy and to the lengths to which God uh, will go to redeem us, just the depth of, depth of his love. Um, but it's also a challenge. I think the cross is a challenge. Uh, I think it calls from us a response. How do you and I respond to the sacrifice? How do you and I respond to this love that the Lord has so graciously and given, given to us, certainly without any merit of our own? So as we um, prepare in a few days for the celebration of the resurrection. If you have an opportunity, just take a few moments and, and contemplate the crucifix, contemplate the cross, and ask yourself, consider how the Lord is asking you to respond to his gift and to his love and to his mercy. We bless you, O Christ, and we adore you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Thank you.